And that's how they won a lot of their games. Even trying to bait Jensen in to say, hey, that cast is open too. Maybe you want to... Really key that the gank arrived early to give Sarah some breathing room in that lane. But here's a gank. Oh, the flash in. The claw is not respected, as it shouldn't have been that time. And before... Good mini wave to stand behind. I also think it was very greedy up top of Impact to go for that. But now, here's Proxen. Oh, and level six. Nice flash away from the Deadly Flourish. Can Smoothie get out of this? The exhaust keeps him in range, and it will be the kill. Auto over to Proxen. So they do get something out of it. A huge roam up in the top lane. Three, potentially four people. If they don't even get a kill, they could get the turret. Yeah. Oh, smoothie's on his way as well. Videos. What a beat. Oh. Now with the team, unleashed power from Jensen is going to drop Seraph. He's no way to defuse the bomb, but you can slow it down. Yep. Slow it down. It's also an interesting strategy. Whoa. Hold on, Ninja. A little ahead of himself. There'll be some extra damage here for Steve. Ooh, alley -oop. Wow. Flashes over the wall. Sneaky going hard on this one. He's going to have to dance it out with Proxen Impact. now. He leads Impact into the fight. A few more hits. Sneaky stands on the barrel knowing it's just going to allow him to stay in range and attack. Arrow down mid. Will it happen? Jensen's on a pink ward. And boom, boom. There it boom. is. The Fog of boom. War attack. It is a dangerous <laughs> thing to be had. And Ninja realizes this once again. Boom, boom. Attack. <laughs> I mean, hope he can get. Oh, bullseye! <laughs> I was yeah. wondering, was wondering when the the bang, the bang, uh, bing bang boom came in. <laughs> there it is. I was thinking of boom boom. You said last yeah. time, hey, but it's the one self right now. Oh, impact has frozen mallet right now, and Seraph has no flash. He can get that barrel. This might actually be a kill. Ooh, Neganar is not going to be there. Could get the speed to go around. I uh, yeah yeah. He's. I make it sound like it could get out. It's intense. But that target champions only button in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Some don't. Oh! Scattered right back. Unleashed power has not come out from Jensen, and I don't think he's going to be able to as Medios is getting that treatment now from Envy. He unleashes right back onto Hakuo. Looks to get the death sentence on the fight. The, the dark passage to the light. Safe A security net. If anybody were to come out to him, maybe down. Oh, man. This is just. This is brutal for Seraph. Oh! Goombud! He did get Goombud in perfect. I was going to say the same thing. If Proxen wants to go in, you just lost your top laner. The guy that you want oh. to deal a lot of damage. And the hook! And he's not dealing damage. So why take the fight with the rest of your team? Vlad could be the next going down. Meteos doesn't have the damage just yet. Or who he targets at this point. Proxen, Ninja, Lod, anybody. They're going to go down and Lod! Be safe. Haku, oh, he's oh, not going to be up. Thunderlords comes down in the end to take down a lot of double <laughs> kill. Going over to Ninja. Where did a lot of help? <laughs> well, you either do something with one person or you do it with the entire team. And Envy says, we might need the entire team to do this. There are two in the top lane, though, that could help stop this Baron. Yeah, this is actually quite risky for C9. Double teleport exists for Envy. If they can get a ward that they can teleport on, but C9 is trying to burst this down quickly. One more shot. Trying to aim for Meteos here? Or oh, possibly Ninja the Baron? He's looking for the Baron! Him. Woo! That was close. That was real close. Smite didn't even go off for Meteos. Yeah. He wants that Mikhail's, but it's so delayed yeah. at this point that these arrows are going to hit through for a very long time. Toxin. Oh, Scatter the Weak just in range. Something that many players may not be familiar with. Now Impact Smoothie on the front line, ready to shut someone down. Medios making sure the back still has peel as they start methodically taking down inhibitors and inhibitor turrets inside him. Cloud9 forces that once again in the top lane. Two Infernal Drakes and arrow onto Ninja. Beautiful. Nar ultimate from Impact. And you can almost hear the communication from Cloud9 from call to call and their priority targets. Jensen. Oh, beautiful stun from the ult. Enough time to toy with that turret. 17 to 4. What a stark difference from game one here as Cloud9 pretty much hit the gas. Pedal to the metal all game long. It's a last ditch effort. Yep, Ninja's trying to teleport him from behind. That's the hit. You heard the Yomu's Ninja gets slowed down. The vision is there, and he takes a volley. He gets the claw in and throws down Glacial Tomb on himself. Cloud9 is trying to separate themselves from the fight as Ninja gives himself time to assess it. And Sonya's and Meteos is now the focus. Dark passage to the light. And will Curtain Call close the fight for Envy? The damage to follow up is there from Seraph, but is there more for the Fade Chase? Jensen is there. The volley is in. Proxen is looking for that angled He's cut off. Sure the straight line is the fastest oh, way to that objective, and they try to take it. Jensen's forced to turn around, knowing that fight may come. And Envy peels off finally. 
The hook onto Proxen. That's just a bit of damage traded in. Wait out the Narbar. Hakuo, no reason to get too close, but he does take a bit of damage. He's going to be a focus, and he's going to go down. It only took a few more seconds for Impact's bar to go away, and this could have been the returning result. But they trade one for one in the end, and Cloud9's forced two-minute cooldown on the blue trinkets. So that's their spacing, but Hakuo gets hit. We saw this in game one. Hakuo is sometimes an initiation. He gets deleted immediately by the return fire coming in from Jensen. Impact's in a bad spot. Jensen is Dust sneaky, can the wall. They can slow over Jensen on this side as well. Seraph's feeling back as well to help onto Lod, and everybody kind of slows down this fight. The ultimates that we have are either disengaging or engaging completely here. Yeah, basically C9 was able to get the pick on a Hakuo, but there was a bunch of junk in between them and the rest of the team. So Impact and Meteos got stuck in the fight where Sneaky and Jensen couldn't come around the side for damage, and they really only get the one kill. They're coming back for more, though. There's the Void Rush. It's going to be a teleport as well. They can easily get themselves back into this fight, and they're all five back in the party here. Envy still has a bit to wait on Hakuo, but these alts are down, and that's what they've been using to stop the takedown of their inhibitors. Yeah, but it's Cloud9, they have their ultimates. Yeah, exactly. Up, the arrows back up. It's going to be very dangerous. Also have Jensen's ultimate. Looking for another pick. Cloud9 looking to drive it home here with a possible good fight. Hakuo steps back the lot for some resistances and defense. Seraph very low. These guys have home guards. Oh, he used the body slam, so nope. Yep. Yeah, they, they just didn't have that armor pen, like we said. Mm -hmm. Bang Plank would get bigger. There level you go. 16, third level of the Ninja. ultimate. Ninja Zanya's out the unleashed power, but also gets the shield from Hakuo, which leaves him in the front to just be picked off. That's something C9 has been working on the whole time. Then they get the priority tar target in Seraph. The DPS is falling like flies for Envy as Cloud9 bite back after game one. They take down the Nexus and will be going to game three at one.